The big-eared woolly bat is the second largest bat in the New World. In Costa Rica, it's rare and found in the lowland habitats of both coasts. The only reliable place to see them is in ancient Mayan ruins in Mexico and Guatemala, which are good places for bats, as this bat falcon can attest to. Many Mayan temples have two secret rooms on either side of the main entrance. The secret passage is small and very cramped. A white line bat seems to have guard duty. And there it is, with its gargantuan ears and long, soft fur. These carnivorous bats range from Mexico to southeastern Brazil and can live up to 2,000 meters, but they are generally found below 800 meters. Big-eared woolly bats eat mostly rodents, but also birds, large insects, lizards, and even little shrews. Their modus operandi is the ambush, detecting their prey by sounds, thus those outrageous ears. They often hunt near the ground, and their large weight of nearly 100 grams enables them to eat large prey. Their food is taken back to a night roost. Colonies of these bats range from one to 10. Studies have found colonies of 10 all males and another of seven males and one female. Nothing is really known about their social structure. Now in the other secret room of the ruins were supposed to be a colony of golden bats. However, a pair of barn owls seems to have replaced them, possibly while gaining some weight. Mayan ruins provide bats with roofs, but they need habitat to hunt in and a functional forest is vital for these large flying predators. Fortunately, a biosphere reserve protects the forest from southern Campeche in Mexico to around Tikal in Guatemala. And here an orange-breasted falcon that is very similar to the bat falcon is found hunting swallows and bats too. Here too is a small colony of big-eared woolly bats. Why do they prefer to roost in Mayan temple ruins is still unknown. Maybe at the top of the temple, the temperature is just how they like it. People used to make gum from these trees by harvesting the sap, which gave the forest a value. Hopefully, people see value in protecting not only civilization's ruins, but its biodiversity.